So what's up everybody? Welcome back to a uh, sit down video kinda. We're gonna show you some baits to use over the fall. But um, before I get into that, I just wanna apologize for not really posting any fishing videos. Um, if you know anything about Rhode Island, if, you're, if you fish in the area, we're in a very big drought. Uh, we've been going through a whole bunch of different things to where weather has been spiking in all different directions Whether it's cold, it's warm. It's just been throwing the fish off So I figured, you know, I don't want to leave you guys in the dark about that So I just wanted to let you know on exactly why I'm not posting because I would love to get out there and post But with schedule just been busy over the last few weeks and stuff like that it's Just been tough especially with the drought. You don't want to stress out the fish It's really really nothing much to get into i'm going to show you guys first a few of the baits that um i got uh mainly going to be using them over the next season uh there's really really no reason to try them maybe i can try this live target uh i don't even oh it's the brand's called live target but um just a weird weird swim bait i don't know exactly what that would uh what the swim bait would really be, but um, like considered looking as, but um, big hook on them, bass would probably go after it. And live target again, it pretty much has the same uh, same goal as a frog, except it has you know the dead fish look to it. So um, that would be cool. Bass obviously love to go after the dead uh, sunfish that just float up there. But um, I wouldn't really recommend using any of those technically in uh, the fall season. And you guys know my go-to. It's kind of been the whole summer. And it's still a uh, great uh, great piece for the fall. And we're going to go with your number one. My number one throughout the whole year. It's going to be your chatterbait. It, I mean, it doesn't really matter too much about what you guys throw on as a trailer. I mean, technically you don't even need a trailer. But... I wouldn't go without it because it's it just it, the different movement in the water it really attracts now i've been using um the, a couple of these trailers these aren't my go-to's i'll show you those in a second if i got them in the bag but um those are just for these ones they're they're like my backups kvd strike king i don't really know much more about that but um you can get these baits at your uh local target i don't i don't know if they have them at bass pro they probably do not target walmart oh this is just i mean this is i'm gonna show you guys tackle box and stuff like that just a mix of everything so but number one definitely that chatterbait i love it so i got a whole case i just put straight hooks in there can't go wrong with that and then uh, i actually just got uh actually just got weighted hooks uh so i can start using some more plastic swim baits and you know work with those instead of just putting a uh a solid uh weight on the uh line i like those a little bit better i haven't used them but i like the look so we're just gonna go in the baits that you know if you guys aren't on this brand jesus what happened to this box this like it just melted i've never seen this before but um if you guys haven't used the brand I don't know what you guys have been fishing with because you got to get on the Guggen squad. The Guggen baits, those guys made baits right. And I'm not saying it because I'm a huge fan of them. They work. They work. Now, I got to get better with plastics. So that's going to be my whole goal over um, next year. And uh, let's just say the next season because uh, it's great. And if you guys aren't don't have any Guggen products... What you guys should do is definitely get the Mondo kits. Now the Mondo kits, they uh, have one different, one difference in them, and it's between the jig, hooks, and there's one other thing I haven't gotten the other box. But um, yeah, let's just let's just go along with that, and we're gonna throw in number two, is the jig, Guggen jig. You can use any jig, but um. I'm going to let you guys know right now, get that Guggen stuff. You know, I, I've i tried to tell Austin that, and he still hasn't used it as much. But, I mean, just the just the style and what they do. Now, this is the weedless jig. You can almost throw it in any condition. 
still has a chance to get caught, but uh, yeah, I mean, you, you can throw this almost anywhere, and uh, yeah, Jig, it's it's super well well made by Guggen, and they throw all of the uh, all of the weights on the front of them as well. Yeah, you guys can't see that. But like I said, guys, this is going to be more of a uh, boring video, and I apologize. Oh, excuse me. You know, a lot of this. Oh, and in the Mondo kits, you also get uh, a face shield. Just a little face shield. It's good. does the purpose. And uh, I'm just going to throw these together because they're pretty much the same things. I mean, it's almost like a lipless jig, top water. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I, you could put this in with a set popper like this, a straight popper. But um, top water, very heavy for uh, fall season, and you get those close up to those banks, throw them where you know you think the bass will be, or even pike pickerel. I've seen them hit this. Me, I haven't had the best of luck with it, but um, I'll, I'll put the popper at uh number three now none of these are going to be in order because i would much put I, I would so rather put this on top of uh on top of the jig on top of the popper and it's your guggen spinning bait now i'm telling you guys I, i'm not just trying to say like i mean you could use any of these different brands but if you guys have the opportunity to go get guggen i i would get it in a heartbeat and um, you can run a trailer with these. Most of the times I don't. But I'm going to show you guys right now my absolute number one trailer. Here it is. The Kraken Croc. So as I'm editing the video, it's a bandito bug, dude. That's your favorite. How are you going to call it a Kraken Croc? Guys, it's a bandito bug. All right, watch the video. Now, if you guys aren't on these, I mean, just the representation, just the motion it gives off in the water, these things are great. I I love those. They're just, they're great. Now, with the jigs, I wouldn't really put that on the jig. You could just put a very small saucy swimmer on the jig. But what did I say? That was number three or number four? I don't know. I'm just going to show you guys good baits to use. I mean, there we go. We got, why do I want to call it a jig? Jerk bait. Jerk baits are another bait that's huge in the fall. At least that's what I like. That's what I like to use. Now, I mean, these, the, these are always great no matter when you do it. But those wouldn't be the first thing I would throw, at least in, uh, uh, at least up here in uh, the Northeast. I don't know about you guys. Texas, I mean... Texas, you can really throw anything. Florida, you can almost throw anything. And the bass are still going to eat it. I haven't actually gotten to use this color yet. But I can't wait to throw that. I'm going to definitely try it a little bit next time I go out. But um, I'm really going to stick to the stuff that I know. But, um, yeah, if you guys haven't gotten on the Guggen stuff yet, I mean... You really got to give it a shot. I obviously do not. But like, just look at the colors on this. They got rattles in them. You know, the way it swims in the water. The way it just... I can't even speak. This is what happens when I come home from work. And I just try and get in front of the camera. But that's mainly my Guggen stuff. And um, if you guys aren't on it, get on it. Because you're missing out. Now, I got a whole bunch of stuff that you guys have seen from, like, mystery tackle boxes and stuff for uh, panfish trout kits. And I got all the other stuff right here. And I'm trying out these hooks. I don't know if I showed you guys. Um, I mean, you can make them into, like, jig heads if you wanted to. But I'm going to try and use these on the Saucy Swimmer. Just give it a little bit uh, more depth. But, um, I mean, if you guys want to talk about Googan, I got Googan scissors. That's not Googan. But white are they, what are they called? Pearl? Pearl lunker logs. Great ones. I haven't even touched those yet. But it's because it's all stuff that uh, I want to do better with. I want to uh, try and explore more areas. So that's why I'm kind of like giving you guys a more of a 
boring video, but informational video for at least what I know and what I want to do. Because right now, I'm in a spot to where I'm not sure what to post, and I want to post. I want to keep you guys updated. But um, it's just tough with my schedule, with what's going on with weather, and uh, with how these fish are just reacting, you know. If I go throw my line in, I could definitely catch one or two. But um, it's going to stress them out with how little water is here. But um, yeah, guys, another great one is the Guggen Rattle Ned. I love these baits, especially in uh, my buddy James's backyard. Can't go wrong with that. They catch every time. But um, I haven't yet to use these. Um, I don't like using as much of big baits like this. But uh, these are the 10-inch Mondo Worms. These are like when I'm in somewhere deeper and I know that I'll be able to get it down in some deeper water. Well, that's kind of what just said that. But either way, I'm not a big fan of the big uh, big worm style. I like to keep things smaller, keep, uh, keep that look going. And something that I haven't used much of, I've used them as trailer, crack and cross. And you guys are going to see a lot of Guggen because eventually my whole tackle, I just want that to be straight Guggen because that works. Now the five inch green pumpkin lunker logs. These are just another piece that you guys can't go wrong with. Um, definitely wanna do more of a wacky rigging with this. And uh, I gotta get on the plastics a lot more. And I got the plastics. And um, we got the good old trench hogs. These are huge. Um, I haven't even opened this one to be 100% honest with you. So that is all in my area of Guggen. But like I said, like, Stuff like this is going to go because it's, uh, it, it, I want to stick to what I like to use and what works, but I mean, like up here, you can't go wrong with just a regular green worm. I, uh, just got a phone call, but, um, I just showed you guys these. I, I got these all over the place. Those were my main trailers, but, uh, and then I got junk like this, like just the feel, like I used to, I mean, this one's not even, not even close to anything that I would throw. It's like, I got that from... I don't even know, but it looks like it's spray painted. It's just a piece of junk. I mean, you can just feel the difference. And I, I feel like I could snap this with my fingers between that and Guggen. Now, it's probably going to be stuff to where I'm going to try from Mystery Tackle Box. I mean, and Guggen that I'm going to kind of keep in my tackle. Like, I used to not, not say as big as this one. They're all together. But spoons, spoons, I used to enjoy those a little bit. And then you got like a junky that that's a jig guys this this is a jig that i have how ridiculous is that but um one thing i just i just can't i can't get rid of dude are these swim baits now they're cheap you can get them at your walmart you can get them at your dick same thing with the guggen i mean i don't know if it's exactly everywhere where you guys are but guggen's even going into walmart which is huge so i mean look look a cheap spinner bait but you guys saw that from the uh that, that one was uh i think that jig actually was from the uh that mystery box, that really junky one. But yeah, these things, dude, I don't know what it is, but like one inch bass and smaller, they'll just eat those up. I haven't gotten a huge bass off of them, but that can that, that can happen. That can come soon. So that's that one. I think this one is a little bit more of, um, okay, so this is more of the chatter, chat, no, 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 not chatter. Why can't I think of the name of this? I don't know. I don't know. Leave in the comments because I'm drawing a blank. I, I know 100% what they're called. Crankbait, crankbait, duh. But um, some of these styles are actually nice. Like this one I would actually throw. That one is pretty nice. I believe I got this one at uh, Bass Pro. A few of these I got at Bass Pro. You can just see the different styles. These ones have a very big lip. You know, I would have to be somewhere where it's really deep. But um, one thing that I will do always is get the chatter baits from um walmart or something like that it just depends what you throw on as a trailer this one i mean i haven't even thrown this one i just put that on there for random i don't i don't even know and then you get your little little jerk bait i mean this is all this is all backup stuff now because i won't i really won't use this kind of stuff like especially with something like this this isn't even something that you could bring to like a little river it just it dives so deep so it's kind of pointless this whole box right here, except for this chatterbait, is pointless. But the trailer on it is pointless. But um, next year I want to do a lot more saltwater too. I 
feel like that's a good plan. It's a good idea. But this is this is what I bring out with me every time I go fishing. And I figured I'll show you guys. And this is the majority of what I got. Now this one. This one's a whole bunch of different stuff. Oh, these are actually two nice spinners. I actually like these. They're not bad. I think I got these at Walmart as well. That's not a bad spinner bait. Guggen one's great though. I love that. If you guys don't have Guggen yet, go get it. Another white spinner bait. Nice clear. Spinner baits you can't go wrong with. Oh, another white spinner bait. And then I got a rattle net in here. I got some some other type of different craws I never use. Um no, no idea what that is. I have a feeling that came out of a mystery tackle box. I don't know. Any of this stuff you guys want to see, be like, hey, make a video with that. Like, this one was actually out of the mystery box, the $50 mystery box that we got. I do still want to try that as I drop it. Just to see how it does. I mean, I don't know how it swim. It's a little heavy. And then you got your popper, but I won't use this one. I'm going to stick with the Guggen one. It just... The Guggen one works so well. It has a great, uh, great, uh, great little splash that it provides in the water. So you can't go wrong with it. Most of the stuff, like I said, it's going to be going away because I don't technically need it anymore because it's not what I'm going to use. And now that the season's over, it's, um, it, it's kind of pointless because over the off season, I'm going to be getting a bunch of stuff. And I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff, doing a lot of research, seeing what I want to use. Like, this came out of a mystery tackle box. I can't remember what this one exactly came out of. The X-Series Zonelers? Just another craw. Just some stuff that I can use. Wacky rig it up. Or, uh, Texas rig it up. Guggen, these are the hooks that I was talking about. I got that out of a Mondo kit. I think overall I've gotten, like, three Mondo kits, which is cool. But, um... Yeah, I mean, now it's time to uh, get some uh, saltwater stuff. Next year, I want to get some striper. I want to go for some bluefish and um, go on the boats a little bit more. Maybe we can find someone that has a boat. But I want to do trips. I want to go fish with new people. So, um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting year. Hopefully, you guys have made it to the end of this video. Sorry if it was kind of boring. I just kind of wanted to show you what I got and show you mainly what to use during the fall. Now, it's a lot of a lot of the same stuff as in spring, but chatterbait, jig, jerkbait, popper, and um, what was the other one that we were really focusing on? Spinnerbait, did I say that one? Chatter, jerk, jig, spinner. I, I, I don't even remember. But guys, tag me uh, on your pictures. Let me know that you guys are enjoying these videos. And... Um, yeah, I'm sorry for making this a little bit boring, but I wanted to show you what I got. I wanted to say hello. Missed you guys. So, um, yeah, like I said, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. It's all at Ice Bear Fishing. And, uh, yeah, ta tag me in the pictures you guys got. Let me see Let me see the fish you've been getting. But, um, you guys, everyone, have a great day. I uh, appreciate you sticking out this video if you watched it this whole time. But, um, yeah, get on them, guys. Try out those baits. Let me know how it worked.